Today we're going to be replacing an uh, exhaust manifold gasket 57 uh, Hemi V8 engine. A lot of times you can hear a ticking noise uh, first time you start the truck when it's cold. I can hear a little bit. You can hear it over here and you can see this heat shield that the stud broke off because the manifold basically warps with the heat and forcing a lot of pressure on the bolts that are usually in the back here sometimes it's these in the front again at the edges so that's what we're gonna do we gotta take this uh, wheel well off, which is over here. So there's a couple eight millimeter uh, screws and a couple of plastic Christmas trees that hold it. And also this ABS connector that's attached to the shield that needs to be disconnected 10 millimeter uh, deep socket that's for the bottom stud got lucky this time that I'm working on the right side because the left side is a little pain in the butt because you get the uh, steering shaft in the way oh yeah look at that this one's gonna be pretty deep inside the cylinder head as you can see sometimes when it's broken somewhere in here you might get away with grabbing it with the uh, wise grips and work it work its way out but this one is gonna be a little more tricky you know these bolts are uh, 916 but this does the trick okay now I can put my 916 socket because this nut is not spinning it's still holds in its place that's nice that doesn't happen very often it's still a little hot but it's doable oh the cat is hot the cat is burning all right we're gonna replace these we don't need those now uh, on the bottom one okay the bottom one is spinning yeah, it's all rusted out so I gotta hold it uh, hold the nut with a wrench all right let's see what size I need I'll take the nut off so uh, 16 so probably 15 will fit better yep 15 it is so I'll put the 15 there and 916 on the other side All right, so this is the last bolt and then this should come off but it's, it's still kind of glued here so we just, just give it a little there we go so that's the gasket and the manifold And you can see that bolt is in there pretty deep so this is the issue with these uh, five seven manifolds with these hemi engine manifolds this cast iron they're getting warped you can see 
so that's why it's putting a lot of stress on the bolts so the proper way of fixing this leak is replacing the manifold gasket and the bolts a couple years ago I tried to drill this bolt off yeah it didn't end up very well I uh, ended up drilling into the water jacket which is right behind it or next to it there are like passages for coolant and I had a coolant start leaking out of it I, it might have been the bottom one I'm not sure ever since then I don't drill unless I have this nice fixture right this is for the passenger side and you flip it for the driver side so I'm gonna attach the fixture in all right I got one I'll get the other one the kit comes with uh, the three bolts and I'm just gonna All right, now I'm gonna start with this 1-8 uh, drill bit guide. So it's gonna go in there and I need a little bolt. So the guide goes in like that. And so here's my angle drill. Now I can drill nice and straight I don't think it's drilling very well alright let's check one more time I'll blow the air out a little bit You really need some super quality uh, drill bits for this. All right, I did a couple turns and it moved, but then it uh, snapped off again. So let's try one more time. Put my easy out, tap it in, and it looks like it's coming off. Well, that saved me a lot of work. There it is. Beautiful. It worked. Make sure you guys check out the description. I'm gonna leave uh, links so you can uh, links so you can check out this plate adapter. I think it's about 120 bucks from Lyle. Lyle makes it. I'm sure other companies as well so here we have a better look at the uh, fixture uh, kit from Lyle so you basically start with 1 8 inch uh, drill bit adapter that goes there then if you still cannot extract uh, the bolt if you it either it even comes with this uh, extractor that you can tap into the hole and try remove it if that is not successful then you move on to the bigger adapter for 316 drill bit comes there and same thing you try remove it with the extractor if it still doesn't move then you move on to six, uh, 1764 drill bit now this is 316 this the big guy 1764 then you would have to use a tap to uh, tap a new thread into the cylinder head i'm gonna 
want to put the bolt here through the gasket. Okay, put the manifold in the pipe. And now it's a little easier. Next bolt. Now I'm gonna replace uh, the bolts that were on the edge. I'm just gonna put four new bolts there. If your manifold is warped, you actually don't have to uh, replace it. You can take the manifold to any machine shops and I'm sure for, for a small fee they can flatten the manifold for you. You might want to call, call around a few machine shops and ask them how much they're gonna charge you, you know, to, to make the manifold flat. And I'm sure it's gonna be cheaper than buying a new manifold. So that's, that's another option. Okay, and all these bolts will be torqued to 18 foot-pounds. The tightening sequence for exhaust manifold is one, two, three, four, and then the uh, bolts on the side. So this is two, This is three, four on the bottom. I'm gonna put these new nuts in there. Of course, if you don't have a dealer nearby, you can just use a regular, regular nuts. It's your choice. This thing will get rusted out pr pretty soon anyway. I like to put anti-seize on these bolts, just in case I have to open it up in the future. It will be easier for me to do so. Where are you? You don't have to go crazy here, over here. I wouldn't go anything more than 18 pounds either. Now the easiest way is I'll put the stud in the vise. This heat shield is good. If yours will be uh, broken here, you might need to get a new one. And you will be surprised how many times uh, the customer comes here thinking that they have a bad engine. The engine is ticking and most of the time it's just this manifold leaking. These 5.7 engines, they last pretty long time. Those are really good engines. So definitely check for your broken bolts first before condemning the engine. Come on, line up. Okay. And what, what does it take to warp these manifolds? I'm not an engineer. Could be the extreme heat. Could be hot, cold, hot, cold. If you guys have an idea why these uh, exhaust manifolds uh, are warping, please let me know in the description. I'd like to know for myself. Alright, nice.
guys no more noise if you guys enjoy this video hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys later